new improved, not recently sued, Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000. So hot, it can cook breakfast in bed. Breakfast not included. Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000, not to be used by the sick, elderly, pregnant, bipedal, etc., 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 etc. Do you look good in floral print shirts and harem pants? Sure we all do. So why not warm yourself on the most beautiful beaches in the world? Visit these tropical islands. can entertain some chums with a proper dinner party. And that secret ingredient is... Hmm, peculiar little character. That boy's more aggravating than a bad case of shingles. And this is how you hula! A wiki, 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 wiki. Huh? Such a polite little fella. Hold on just an ice-picking minute. Like Christmas is coming early this year. Oh, ain't he as cute as a bug's ear? I'll just take him to his home and let him rest up. And now, our afternoon movie, Frigid Winter. Frigid Winter? That got a five ice cube rating. Alive. They just don't make them winner pictures like they used to. Huh? Now this here is the flake that broke the snowman's back. This berg ain't big enough for the both of us, penguin. What's he waving for? That really shaves my eyes. Y'all catch my drift? The tropical and tropical, influencing White House pages. Tonight, we reveal the answer to one of life's greatest mysteries. Are we alone in the universe? Do UFOs exist?
Professor Smith, do UFOs exist? As a gentleman, this shouldn't bother me. <laughs> That's the problem with penguin meat. It runs right through you. It's almost time for the lotto drawing. And tonight's South Pole Lotto is worth $40 billion. You could buy a lot of fun in the sun with that money. But this will be your only announcement. You snooze, you lose. 14, 22, 64, 93, 56, 71. And the final number is... The vacation getaway of a lifetime! Only one thing a grown dog can do at a time like this. <laughs> We go on the air in 15 minutes! Now go find me some wildlife for my wildlife show! Yes, Helga. Anything you say, Helga. <sighs> hmm. Someday the star will say Monty, host of Monty's Magical Wildlife Show. But not today. The pie is particularly good today. Hold on. You're a wildlife. <laughs> Nothing's wilder than a penguin. Penguins just love fishies, and this will be the perfect bait. Life is so gullible. Helga! Helga! I got me a penguin! And it's got a little hat! I like that! Let's shoot it! <laughs> Money! Back in a flash. The gumbo's decidedly delish. There. Well, good thing I didn't recommend the sampler tray. Oops.
Get the penguin. Forget the penguin. Let me make this easy for you, okay? Get me the polar bear! Offer him anything he wants. All the food he can eat. Just get him on the show! Or you're fired! I could host a better wildlife show than Hollywood Helga any day. Sorry, Penguin. Helga wants the polar bear. No can do, Penguin. The polar bear got the nod for Helga's show. You know, you are one persistent little penguin. I'd put you on my show, if I had one. That's right, you'd get a TV contract and all the food you could eat. Why, that's downright Machiavellian, Penguin. You'll go places in Hollywood, I can tell. do everything myself. <laughs> this is Helga's Wilderness Show. Today we'll meet a polar bear up close and personal. <laughs> Marty! So long, Helga. Hello, Monty's Wildlife Show. <laughs> Today, Monty's magical wilderness show will visit a very special penguin at home in his most comfortable setting. Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to the opening of the Antarctic Games. Sponsored by Mama Dulap's Old Fashioned Chocolate. The chocolate preferred by four out of five hungry penguins. Mama Dulap invites you to join us at the extreme sporting event of the century. We guarantee plenty of excitement, food, thrills, food, and most of all, food. Tickets go on sale, well, right now. <laughs> Mm-mm. I just love being the official head of security for these here Antarctic Games. I'm sworn to keep all riffraff off of these premises. Hmm. What have we here? It looks like I've corralled me a penguin of the gate-crashing persuasion. Well, I'm escorting you from the premises. <laughs> Guard rule number one, always be leery of the tuxedo wearers. Whoa! <laughs> hmm, this here ice is mighty cold on the lower lumbar. Wee, 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 wee. You pull over now so as I can under arrest you. It looks like we have a couple of late entries in the ice skating competition, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what?
what style that big fella has. What a left hook that little fella has. <laughs> now I got you, you little... Ow! That's smart. That smart Alec bird is definitely skating on your proverbial thin ice. <laughs> but there ain't a penguin alive who can outsmart a minimum wage security officer. Except maybe this one. What an amazing performance! We have a new gold medal winner! And now, in the Mama Dewlap's Antarctic Games tradition, the winner of every event gets a meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> No gate crasher is gonna be outsmarting me. Hmm, needs a tad more salt. Hold on one ice picking minute. This is the law of talking. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but water will not hurt me. Unless it has been modified to solid form. Hold it where you are. They ain't a gate crasher alive who can get away from me. What style? What a landing. That'll probably cause what we in the guard business call a boo-boo. You know what? My boo-boo smarts. What an amazing run! This surprise contestant has won his second event of the game. And he's wasting no time heading to the table of champions to celebrate. All right, gate crasher, hand over that drumstick. Ouch! Nowhere to take the lead in the 100 mile ice gliding race. All right, you pull over. Huh? <laughs> that there is the oldest trick in the book. Yep, sometimes it takes a while, but I always prove I'm twice as smart as everyone says I think I am. You know, you don't see these great white polar sharks very often. We're 50 miles into the race, and Chili's still in first place. Less than 100 yards from the finish line, and it's still anyone's race. When I catch this law-breaking icebreaker, he's gonna chill in the cooler for a long while. This is what we in the business call a hot pursuit. They don't get any hotter than this. Chili has won three gold medals in one day. And now he's enjoying his third meal at the Table of Champions. I did my job. I may be tired, but it's a good kind of tired. Well, the Antarctic Games may be over, but you can enjoy Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate all year long. Remember, it's a gold medal treat. <laughs> and now a word from Smedley's Scrumptious Frozen Fish Dinners. Howdy, are you a hungry TV watcher? Let me show you how I fast freeze all that great taste into my frozen dinners. I use only the most modern freezing methods available to man a dog. 
This here is liquid nitrogen. Whatever y'all do, do not try this at home. Um, go buy Smedley's frozen fish dinners. Meanwhile, I'll search for a new freezing technique. That won't leave me broke. <laughs> Dad, seven thousand three hundred. Current cash zero. You owe money in seventeen states and. <laughs> the Antarctic is the perfect place to find the newest fast freezing techniques that will succeed where my latest ideas have failed. Hmm, I could have sworn I heard something. Huh? Now, I definitely don't remember that there windsock. Owning a frozen dinner franchise can be a mighty chilly business. People will stop at nothing to steal your fast freezing secrets. The ice here in the Antarctic is the most frigidest ice in the world. And cold contact is my newest freezing technique. These here ice blocks will quick freeze my dinners faster than a bug in a blizzard. <laughs> now hold on one ice picking minute here, small fry. delivery. Send this pest to the remotest corner of the world. <laughs> now, if I place my dinner right here, the frigid wind chill factor from this here fan will blow on it. Then, when the thermometer drops to here, my dinners will be frozen solid. chill factor from this here fan will make the mercury in that there thermometer drop faster than a bad chin tuck. Hmm, looks like I'll need more wind chill than I first thunk. There, you snowbound bamboozler. You got no right taking this here food before it's properly frozen, and no right taking it, period, question mark. 
Do I make myself clear as an ice cube? Oh, little fella. Say, you really are a fan of Smedley's frozen fish dinners. 185000 dollars for Smedley's frozen fish dinners from the Igloo Emporium. 96 cents. You gotta understand. I'm just trying to find the best method to fast freeze all that tasty freshness into my frozen dinners. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why, of course! Who would know better? The secrets of fast freezing than a penguin. Yep, like my Uncle Fretz always used to say, you can lead a penguin into water, but it takes one smart dog to make him fish for you.